guys here, I found another one. This time it's a Chevy, and it's a nice old Chevy, yeah. Classic Chevy, hot rod. Something that we saw all the time, all, out on the streets in ads, on commercials, you know, uh, videos, whatever. But it's an SS. That's all I'll say. I digress. Let's get to it. Hey, it's a 71 Chevy Chevelle SS model. On top of that, it's a 402 big block in here. And it's an automatic. Silver with black interior. Black stripes. Heritage stripes, you know. This thing's pretty clean. You know, 71 is clean. It's a survivor. And if it's a restoration, it's an even better car for you to get. The price should be right. It's a survivor. You know how it is, pricing these old cars. Get a nice survivor with good glass and straight lines that are even on a restoration. That's what you look for. The lines on the doors, the trunks, the hood. You know, you make sure all these lines are right as far as the spaces in between and nothing's cocked and crooked. And this back bumper here is pretty nice. And the back tips, dual exhaust, tail lights look right. I mean, this is a true good looking Chevelle so far. I can't find too much to complain about. I've seen this thing and I looked at it and I said, wow, this would make a nice car to do some content on. And I came over here and I looked at it and I said, yeah, this is nice. This is real nice. This thing has enough room in it. That's why I like the Chevelles, although they were bigger than the uh, Camaros. But, you know, Chevelles and Torinos, I put them in the same class. You know, as I'm looking at the lines here on the hood, you saw that on that door right there. Everything's pretty even. You look at the front end grill, you look at the lights, signal lights, <coughs> you find nothing out of order. Even the front bumper is clean, nice and chrome, you know, hood latches are on here. Once again, I was talking about the lining. You, on some restos, you do find it with maybe a little tight on one side, you know. And then you come to the other side, you might have a little bit more room. That's what you look for when you do, when you're going over these restoration cars. What lines up, how it lines up, if it's right or not. That's why a lot of guys who did cars professionally told me, you always look at the lines on the doors and the, the trunks and the hoods. See if they're even. That'll tell you something about the restoration right there. It'll tell you a lot if that car's worth the price. And so far, I haven't seen anything out too far bad with this car. Everything looks pretty decent, you know? Floor shifter. I like that steering wheel. Nice interior. Dashboard looks real nice. Let's come out of it. Let's also, the headliner. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Let's look at the other side again. While I'm here looking at this thing, I found like one little dude out hiccup right there. I don't know if that's just a water spot or something that could be buffed out, you know, but. Outside of that, this car has turned out to be a pretty nice little Chevelle, you know. I never really turned my nose down on these things. They always really stood out for a bigger size, classic hot rod, you know. See if I can get that headliner again from a different angle. And it don't look bad when you look at it. Don't like it. Take a look at the information board. 71 Chevelle, 42 big block, four speed automatic. You see the price right there. Two door, as is. 
here at Gateway Classic Cars. Okay, guys. Hey, I found a car that I always loved and uh, always been one of my favorites. It's a Mustang, of course. But I found one over here just sitting to itself at Gateway. I just wanted to do a quick video on it. Maybe you guys will like it too, you know. Let's take a look at it. I do believe this is either a 69 or a 70 model. And usually I found a lot of these with the 351s in it or a 302. I'm still looking for one with a 429 Cobra Jet or 428 Cobra Jet, you know. But always every time I found these cars has been the 351 or 302 in there. And looking at the back end, I do believe this is a 70, more so than a 69. But this is a resto. And it's a nice one. And it's been pretty well put together, you know. I don't see anything that I would say out of the ordinary. But with these cars, I always love that front end, that classic Mustang look up front. As you look at the hood, your lines are pretty well even. Coming all the way to closer to the glass. And all your glass is pretty good. Your doors. Back window. A fast back look. The trunk itself. Everything's lined up pretty nicely. Let's take a look at this interior. Oh yeah, let me not forget the dual exhaust tips back here. I mean, they are back there. <laughs> a little snug, but they're back there. Oh yeah, this is a nice, real nice Mustang here. That's a rest though, because you can, these seats here are really nice. I like these seats. deleted seats in the back and I believe right back there is a big old woofer subwoofer speaker automatic get this in there we get a real nice look ain't that nice oh yeah It's nice. Let's take another look at the passenger side. The dashboard on this thing looks really nice. Nice and clean. No cracks, no nothing. Passenger seat, excellent condition. All those rest of all this stuff looks good. But the whole car looks good. We don't have an information board on here, so I don't know if this thing's for sale or not, but I figured I would just do it anyway. So you look at this passenger side door, see all the lines on here are nice and even. And some nice rims on here too. This would make a nice car for anybody if it's for sale. Anybody would be interested in buying it. You never know. I don't recall seeing a license plate on the back of here. No, it's not. So you never know. The car might be for sale. All right.